Bulbasaur, dude. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are now back to our regularly scheduled videos. I'm done with the Cyrus family drama uh, series that I had been working on. And so today we are just back to good old fashioned influencer drama. Um, what we're going to talk about today has like already happened, but I don't feel like a ton of people know about this little bit of drama. So that's why I kind of want to talk about it because I think it's kind of fun. So let's get into it. So today we are talking about the beef between Haley McCougan, McCo McGugan, Kin, ugh, and Sophia La Court's drama. Not as much as like known about these girls, like from earlier life, I guess, because they're influencers, and it just seems like with influencers, you don't always know a ton about their early lives, because they get to be influencers when they're, like, in their early 20s, it seems like, so from 20 on, their life is pretty much documented. But Sophia LaCourt was born January 1st, 2001, making her 23 years old. It's so wild to me that people born in the 2000s are already, like, over 21 years old. It just, ugh, mind-blowing. Uh, she was born in New Jersey. She co-hosts a podcast with Brad Mondo in New York City. The two are really cool together, actually. I've kind of listened to a little bit of their podcast, and I think it's really fun. It's like hanging out with your two besties. Sophia has 784,000 TikTok followers, 140,000 Instagram followers, and 2,950-ish YouTube subscribers. That's pretty much what I got for you. She really posts, like, just, I mean, her videos are cool, but they're more about, like, her, her life, more lifestyle stuff, I would say, and then, like, lip syncing, uh, videos showing off her outfits, like, just kind of that sort of stuff. Now, according to Haley McCougan's Isaiah account, which is, like, a website where brands can connect with influencers and then, like, pay them to promote products and whatnot. Haley McCougan is an American Instagram influencer based in the U.S. She is known for her spectacular photographs and captivating stories on Instagram, as well as her unique sense of humor on TikTok. Haley has a knack for making her followers laugh, and she is constantly experimenting with her content to ensure her posts are always fresh and interesting. With her stunning looks and witty humor, Haley is quickly becoming a fan favorite. If you're looking for an Instagram influencer who can keep you laughing and engaged, Haley is the one for you. Haley is also based in New York City as well, and she co-hosts a podcast with her friend Jazz. So, I mean, Haley and Sophia have pretty similar lives. They both live in New York City. They both have podcasts with friends. They both post relatively the same vibe or type mm -hmm. of content on social media platforms. Sorry, if you guys, like, if this ugh, thing is bleeding or whatever, I'm really sorry. I had some cystic, like, acne-ish type stuff happen on my chin and I picked at it, which is such a bad idea, but anyway, sorry, just ignore it. Haley has 1.1 million TikTok followers and 120,000 Instagram followers. So, since they have such similar vibes and they're both based in New York City, it just makes sense that they end up at the same influencer type events with one another. On December 2nd, there was a post in the r slash New York City Influencers Snark community page saying, Haley's ex-boyfriend cuddled up with Sophia LaCourt. Haley's ex-boyfriend's name is Reed. And then OP went on to comment saying, The two were at Ludlow Hotel, cuddled up on a couch, enjoying cocktails last night. I don't have a picture, but it was them. Yes, Sophia and Haley were at the same influencer dinner on Thursday, and that is why I was shocked to see these two together on what appeared to be a date. Others also said that they saw the pair at Ludlow Hotel. So, like, why is this a big deal? Because it really doesn't seem like it should be. Haley and Reed had been together for about nine months and broke up in early November. Haley was very persistent, persistent in saying that there was no bl bad blood between her and Reed. Like, they were fine. They just broke up, you know? On December 3rd, so the day after the post on Reddit, Haley posted a TikTok to the song Karma by Taylor Swift. In a deleted TikTok, Haley says that she and Sophia were friends when Sophia went out with Reed. Haley wrote, 
Ladies, let me be your lesson. Never feel sorry for a man or defend him because not even three weeks after dumping you out of the blue, after you try to protect him, he will go on a date with someone you considered a friend and were with the night before buying shots for. Then Haley made a series of videos about Reed's reaction and then in like one of them, he ended up just saying, at the end of the day, it's always the man's fault. Like in reference to the whole situation. Even though Haley was the one to bring this whole thing, like up online instead of just simply letting it die down she posted videos about not sending anyone hate saying i'm embarrassed this is even on online tbh i never would have brought it to social media if it wasn't for the fact that people started making videos and now i feel like i need to explain Haley then said that she would be talking about the situation on her delusional diaries podcast and like essentially all she did was just recap the whole situation she didn't even share any new information which is what people thought she was gonna do she just like talked about the thing again like that was it sophia did eventually respond by posting this tiktok doesn't it bother you that all anyone talks about when they talk about you are the seven husbands of evelyn hugo no because they are just husbands i am evelyn hugo now this video definitely could just be a fun lip syncing video but a lot of people took this as like her response video. Eventually, though, she did talk brief briefly about the situation on her podcast with Brad Mondo. Your perspective, how did things differ from what she explained the circumstances as? Like, what did she lie about? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the question? Everything. She said we were friends. She's on social media. She posts every single detail of her life. Is there a picture of us together? I don't even know. I mean, we're not friends, so that's number one should i just say everything that she's lied about i think people would still look at you even after all you've explained today and say well she shouldn't have dated her ex-boyfriend okay i don't know who this girl is i was never friends with her <laughs> what do you i can't date but any she acquaintance bought you shots. she didn't buy me a shot she <laughs> bought a round of shots for six people and then i bought the next round i literally was like wait didn't i buy shots the next morning and then i looked at my <laughs> bank account and i was like 70 dollars at the spaniard she bought a round i bought a round None of that happened. Nothing that she said was true. And that's why I was so content with all this hate because I know myself and I know that I'm right. I know that I did nothing wrong. I would like to apologize for talking so much more with my hands. It's just, I put on fake nails. And so like feeling that pressure or like that little added weight to your fingertips just really makes you like, I don't know, it's funny. But anyways, so that is the gist of the situation. Again, this drama is like long since passed in the world of like influencer news and beef and drama and whatnot so i don't know i still didn't know about this and i thought it was just kind of interesting so i wanted to bring it up and see what you guys thought about this situation if you have any comments like or thoughts about the situation definitely comment down below let me know what you think but other than that that's pretty much it for me today so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe if you want to. If not, thanks for just hanging out and watching this video. And for those of you that are subscribed and will be back, I will have a new video for you on Friday. Bye guys.